Hey guys, so welcome back to another midweek film. Now, if you recall um, last year, or maybe even the year before, I did a video unboxing the Diva Cup. So today I'm just going to do a quick follow-up to that, um, how to actually clean and sterilize the Diva Cup, because that is a very important step if you want the Diva Cup to remain a viable option uh, for you. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need about two cups of water. So you're going to want to put that into your pan and put it over medium, medium high heat to begin with, just to, to bring it up to temperature. Okay, next, of course, you're going to need your Diva Cup. So after you've used it um, for the few days to a week, um, you're going to want to collect that, put it in the water that we've prepared, and uh, don't forget to reserve those juices as well. You don't want to waste those. Okay, so next you're going to want to add a piece of kombu, um, which adds a really beautiful umami flavor uh, to the resulting stock that we're going to prepare today. So you're just going to want to bring that to a simmer, stirring occasionally, like so with the chopsticks just so you get even sterilization, even cooking. Now once that's come to a full simmer, the bubbles are appearing, you're going to want to take it off the heat, remove the kombu, remove the diva cup, and set those aside. Next we've got some shoyu, aka soy sauce. So add approximately one or two teaspoons of that to the broth. Next sake. Again, I'd say about two teaspoons of that as well. Okay, and next you're going to want to add mirin, uh, which is a sweet Japanese uh, wine generally used for cooking. Add another two teaspoons as well. Give it a stir. Okay, make sure to try the broth. Test it for seasoning. Okay, and now we want to add the miso. So add approximately one and a half tablespoons of miso and stir. Okay, next we're going to add some of the reserved kombu. I just slice that into julienne. Add that to the pot. Stir it up. Okay. Now you can serve the beautiful soup. I like to serve it in this Japanese bowl that I bought from Daiso. Beautiful. Make sure you get some of that beautiful kombu. Add that to your bowl. Just look at that beautiful color. Absolutely lovely. Now let's go in for a taste. Mmm, that is divine. Absolutely divine. Now let's try the kombu. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful taste, texture, and everything. Great amount of umami. Now let's just get a closer look at the resulting soup. And isn't that absolutely beautiful? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and then of course follow me on Twitch, Tumblr, and Tinder, and we'll see you next time.